the low bar back squat. You're gonna set the hooks up so that it's about the top of the height of your armpit. We don't want it too high and we don't want it too low. You don't wanna to have to go up on your toes to come in and out of the rack. So the way it's gonna get on your back, it's gonna go lower on your back than you think. It's not gonna sit on top of your shoulders. It's gonna go back below that spine of your scapula, that bone on your back. We're gonna put the whole hand on top of the bar. That includes your thumb. And you're gonna put the bar in this bottom part of your palm so the fingers come down and over it. Our goal is to keep the wrist flat. So where your hands go is relative to your own shoulder mobility. Most people are probably gonna start about a thumb's width out from that knurling mark but you may go wider and you may go more narrow. Basically, if it's comfortable, it's probably not close enough. It's an uncomfortable position and all I can say is it gets better. So we're gonna take the whole hand, that includes the thumbs, and put it on the bar. We're gonna try and keep the wrists flat. When we go underneath, the head's down, the chest is down, and we're gonna push our body through so the bar gets low on our back. Keeping the wrists flat, we're gonna get both feet underneath us and stand straight up. Then you're gonna take a step back, another step back, and you're gonna find your stance, which is about heels at shoulder width apart, turning the toes out about 30 degrees. Now, keeping your eyes down, maybe about four or five feet in front of you on the ground, you're gonna take a big breath, hold it, and you're gonna reach your hips back as you bend the knees to squat, and then come back up. There's no pausing at the bottom. We're just coming down and coming back up focusing on reaching the hips back as the knees bend and back up. Thinking about your knees going over your toes, shoving them out and keeping them out on the way up. Then when you walk back in, you just walk straight in and down. There's no need to look around because you set these hooks at the right height so you know that the bar is going to land in them. So that is how we're gonna low bar squat.